you can, uh, I was gonna say, you're not going to work for me because that would just be incredibly on brand given the last about 30 minutes of trying to figure out why Splunky had no sound. But Splunky does have sound now. And it does, it does seem like it is working as a video game. Get out of my dreams and into my bag is definitely what the live notification thing says. I don't know how long it said that. It's gotta be a couple of months now. That song is in my head for a week now, thanks. I mean, such as it were, you know? Sometimes that's all there is to it. You just get stuck with the thing in your brain forever. Turned off live notice on mobile about two months ago, so I haven't seen it. That. You know, that's completely fair. I haven't been playing around with shortcuts, so I'm gonna start playing around with shortcuts. Because, you know, sometimes you gotta take the shortcuts in life, right? Like you got a, a test you gotta pass, so you just start stealing the answer keys. For real though, like, has anybody actually, like, well, how, I, I guess I, I shouldn't say, how, like, has it ever happened, but how often does stealing answer keys just occur? It's always like a plot in, confounded, ridiculous uh, cartoon narratives. I immediately died because I tried to whip the bat. I was going to sacrifice those hired helps, and instead the higher helps sacrificed me because they wouldn't come down and help me with that bat. This is what happens when you try to sacrifice your loved ones. But, like, I, I always hear about that for, like, TV show things, but nobody ever steals answer keys in real life. And, uh, if we're talking about, like, stuff feeling like progress, I managed to get to 6-3, uh, by starting on, like, just the standard area, like, the, the default first part of the, uh, the cave, so that was really nice for me. The, the way to get to 6-3 is just get a jetpack and a shotgun, and then go very slowly, and then very quickly get the fuck out of- <laughs> he just built to die! Well, that's a problem. He did, uh, he did summon the ghost, so we're just gonna commit suicide. Getting to a ladder level doesn't really feel like progress because it's not permanent. Eh. I get people that exist, so I can, like, quantify that the progress has occurred, you know? Oh, you are such an unfortunate young gentleman. Your life has been literally that cut short. It's possible for me to never reach that again. Yeah, but like if you just play consistently, like you will inevitably get to that point again at some point. Statistically. I guess it's like hypothetically possible that you could actually just die before that ever happens again. Like in real life, not in the video game. But like, obviously we don't want to think about like that possibility, right? Dude. Dude, dude, just calm down. There, you tank the damage and then, you, oh my god, will you actually move? Oh my god, oh my god, hired helps! Are we raiding? Oh my fucking god, hired help, thank you. No! We're not gonna make it. Yep, that's fine. Destiny? People raid in Destiny? People actually do the end game. You're telling me that enough people have people that they can play with, that they can play end game? No, that's not possible. Nobody has six people that play Destiny. Everybody has one person that plays Destiny that they try to struggle through strikes with, and that's it. We're doing really bad tonight, because I'm, like, starting from this as opposed to starting from the beginning and actually trying to, like, rebuild my skill level. Um, also because I'm rushing. But yeah, no, I, I don't- I just- I straight up do not believe you that you have people that you play Destiny with. I just- I just don't believe you. It just doesn't exist. There- are, there is not enough people in the world that you can actively have a Destiny rating guild. Like, it's just not real. I've played Destiny for six plus years, 
and I had to use LFG every single time that I wanted to get a raid. And every single time that I used LFG, the guys like quit mid-raid or like had some big major problems. And I've only ever managed to be able to- well, how did you steal that from me? Uh, complete like raids like three times in my life. Like, that's- I've literally- Did he just go into the lava with my cat? Incredible. They're not just built to die, they're built to kill. Your guys. Alright. Uh, yeah, you might want to move with me, guy. I genuinely expected him to go right into the lava. <laughs> I like that! Yeah, he just, he just was a little bit delayed. We'll see how it goes tonight. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know, like, I've, I've literally never been able to get enough people to do Destiny Raids. Every time I've had to use LFG, the only time I didn't use LFG was when one guy that I knew was down a person, and they were like, hey, do you want to do the raid? And then I did the raid, uh, but guess what? It didn't matter, because it was before Destiny had the vaulting system where you got to keep all of your stuff that you acquired, and as a result of that, uh, when I wanted to get the shader back from doing the mission for the raid, uh, yeah, guess what shader? Just, I, I don't have unlocked because I'd used them all before it could become part of my, uh, like, triumphs section or whatever the fuck it is. So, yeah, hey, shout out to all the people that have callous shaders because I don't anymore despite beating that raid. I beat it, I had it, I wore all of it, and now I'm just not allowed to have it anymore because, uh, shitty coding. Like, that's basically what it boils down to. Because they were like, yeah, if you had it in your inventory, uh, you know, when we put this update through, then you get to... Holy shit, I'm gonna get juggled to fucking death. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, it's like, I had it in my in- I, I didn't have it in my inventory, I had it on my person, and they were like, you have to have it in your inventory, or else it doesn't count that you've acquired it. Uh, so that was when I just decided to get mad at Destiny, and not do raids anymore. And I haven't done a raid, and there have been, like, four raids since then, and I've done none of them. I haven't even done the dungeon contents for the old stuff. I think I went into the, the Wish one and did like a bunch of solo content just so that way I could acquire like a gun or something like that. Or like a shader? That's what it was. I went I went into the ribbon one so that way I could get a shader. And now I don't even use the shader because I have better shaders. Like it's still a good shader, it's just like not what I'm gonna use anymore. Okay, I'm gonna need you, dog. Cool. Oh! That could be on very poorly. Hope I can finally get the exotic. What is the exotic for that one? Is that the one that's like made of bones and screams at you? Oh, well, okay, yeah. That one's a pretty good exotic, but honestly, like, I have no, uh, I have no aspirations to get it because of the fact that it involves doing a raid that's, like, fucking absurdly difficult. I mean, they're all absurdly difficult, but, like, at least Callus was, was just, like, you could get a bunch of people to just carry you, I guess. 
Unless people have gotten that good at the last wish one, but I remember that one just being like a pain in the ass. I'm so glad I learned where his, his movement boxes are, but you can see like the range that he has and sometimes when he crushes under to an area it will like destroy the brick next to him uh beneath another brick so sometimes like there is a bit of hitbox fuckery on this guy and it really aggravates me because it doesn't happen every time but it does happen enough times Okay, well, hey, cool. We're just gonna ban that right away. Uh, or I would if uh, the Twitch page would let me. Cool. Ban. Fucking robots. Goddamn robots. As if they don't make your life hard enough as it is. Then they have to go and do this. No wonder the Mechanicus doesn't approve of AI. Okay, the real question is are we going to try and actually kill Olmec today? Because I, I don't really think that we're going to try to actually kill Olmec. I think we're just going to go past Olmec and then continue down and hopefully get some stuff to allow us to survive the ice caves and then get past the ice caves into Neo Babylon. Because if we can get down there, then we have at least like a one in four chance that we won't necessarily uh, biff it, as it were. Because hopefully people that are aggro are not just immediately aggro, as I've had happen almost every single day this week when I've tried to get down there. I'm sorry, what did you just do? That was a little bit weird, wasn't it, Olmec? Why'd you do that, like, a little extra stomp? That was extremely strange. Come on. Smash this a little bit more flat. Just that way we have enough room to dipsy doodle you. Ultimately speaking, this is the real goal of Spelunky. It's just a dipsy doodle. As long as you can dipsy doodle all the enemies enough, you're good. Oh my fucking makes me mad, though, every single time. Okay. Ah, uh, are we going to fight Olmec? That's the real question. I guess we've made the soft decision to kind of fight Olmec. That's a bit more problematic. Yep. Uh, cool. Now we hide. And we hope he blows himself up a little bit. Just a touch, you know? Just a smidgen of exploding. Oh, fuck off. Lift up high, please. Thank you. I can't believe this is working. There we go. Now he's fucked me up again. Oh my, please. I hate you so much, you know this? You make me so mad. Oh, I was gonna say, please just explode your own shit. I would love that. Oh! Oh no! No, no, my dog! You exploded my dog! I was using that to help survive your attacks! 
He actually didn't get to the phase where he usually does here, which is blowing shit up down to the bottom. Okay, now is the debate of whether or not we go through Temple. I haven't gone through Temple on, on stream, but I'm also going to die instantly if I go in there. Hey, did I mention how much I hate Olmec? Because, boy, do I fucking hate Olmec. Man, why do I not fight with the dog? If I'm using the dog, I can... Eh. This was a twofer. Oh, that dog is uh, a little bit deep down there, I think, huh? Okay. Things are... Really, now? Things are getting a little bit too frisky for me. Oh, there's a problem! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. That's the problem now, isn't it? That's the that's what happens when you fight Olmec. Is you get into a situation where you feel the flow, you feel like you're doing it well, and then he just crushes your fucking skull. Because in the end, he is a giant skull, and that's all he can do. Olmec exists to crush your skull. And I genuinely... Genuinely would love to have a single time in my life where a Nolmec fight goes as planned. Um, but usually if I survive, it's pure accident. But completely, completely by accident. I, I wouldn't even attribute any level of skill to it. It's just like, I did it. Well, okay. I guess that was fine at the end of the day. Extra resources, extra resource, but it's not exactly what I would entail as a perfect uh, item. I'd much rather just kind of get bombs, because then I can just phase skip Olmec if I want to. Like, if I get like 15 or 16 bombs, right, I'm usually good to just be like, cool, I'm out. Wow, I hate how this turned out, huh? <laughs> You had to do me like this. But I did get those extra ropes, so I guess that's fine. Like, in the loosest sense of the term. Oh, of course you're up there as well. Oh, man, I hate this. It's like everything that I could want is just loosed behind a, a fucking crater of lava. Okay. 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 I'm not quite feeling it. But I'm not hating it. Wow, this is such a weird level. It's like everything's kind of top-loaded. And then there's just sort of an existent area that just kind of coalesces afterwards. Oh, even he's here! Literally, just everything is in this place. Like, this variant. I was really hoping that I could, uh... Whew, not have to risk that that way. I probably should have just written that down, but... It's fine, wrote it down. Good riddance. Okay. This place is a fucking clusterfuck. It is a nightmare. There's like so much top loaded that it just doesn't pan out at the bottom because you don't have the ability to, to really transition it. That was pretty good though. I'm happy with how that went. Like there's all these bodies that I could have used here and everything. But it was all loaded at the top. Yeah, we're just not going to worry about that cat right now. Mm. 
Man, you guys just are insistent on doing this to me today, huh? Sure. Okay, you keep giving me these Kali altars, and I really do appreciate them, but I would love them if they were in a place where everything was a little bit more accessible, and not just cavemen. Because I unfortunately am aware that cavemen will not do it for me. I need a little bit more than what you're offering me. Okay, we've got bombs and a key. We could phase skip Olmec and go right down if we wanted to. Let's let's toy with Olmec a little bit. And if we get down to temple, we'll just go. We'll just go. It could be worse, right? Like, it could definitely be worse. It's not like we're like half an hour in and only got to Olmec like twice successfully. Okay, that's flat enough. And I've, I've realized that you can, in fact, use Olmec to create a set of stairs up to the, uh, to the hidden Ankh as well. You don't have to go to the bottom to get to the Ankh. Uh, but I feel like bottom is almost somehow easier than trying to lure him to not fucking skull crush you up against the ceiling. At least I, I've more or less, like, there's times where I'll, I'll wub it up real bad, uh, but there's, for the most part, a, a decent understanding of the initial phase of the Olmec fight. Olmec fight 2, definitely easier if you have a gun. Uh, but a fire dog works too, as does just a copious amount of ropes if you are careful. Uh, or a really good rock throw. But the problem is, I'm not a really good rock throw, so a mitt is definitely desirable. Uh, but not necessary either. What I'm saying is, essentially, I've learned kinda how to Olmec phase 1 and 2, but Olmec phase 3 still fucks me up real bad. I feel like that one's the best one to just save your bombs for. If you come in here and you've got like 13, 14, 20 bombs, save it till you're like Olmec phase 3. Just create a big stupid fuck off hole and then just make him go down it. Because once he goes down that hole, like, he's done. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Unless he has spawned like 7,000 aliens. In which case, yeah, that's a bit of a problem, but you'll manage. Hopefully. You might have to play a little bit of Space Invaders, but, eh. Ultimately speaking, it's not too bad. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. I'm down to here. We'll open this up in case we need to cower it out. Gotta go now, have a good one. Yeah, have a good, like, raid, I guess. Oh, we did it, boys. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Hated that. That was all bad. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh. Ah! Okay. Uh, bye, Key. It was nice knowing you. Oh, this is, uh, this is a, this is a bad, this is a bad, this is a bad, this is a bad, this is a bad. Okay. Could have been worse, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. 
I cannot believe that worked. I'm just gonna go out there and say that right now. Okay, you did get some holes going, but you didn't really get enough deep. Fucking aliens, man. I probably should have just gone to temple, huh? Just gonna... I said we're just gonna... Go up here and... Yep. Fuck, there were no more rocks on this side, huh? Oh, <laughs> they're all down in a hole! Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my, please, my dude. I guess you could space invaders these guys until they they create a big enough gap for you, right? Like you could in theory just trick the aliens into creating a big gap for you. You could play this really safe now that I look at this. And so that's going to be our goal now is using these guys to create a big stupid fuck off Olmec hole. Which is an a, a surprisingly effective strategy is what we're learning here. Amazing that that actually worked. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it worked. You can use the aliens to do the work for you. A strategy that no man has ever thought of before besides myself. Not at all something that anybody else could have ever figured. I actually don't know how many people have done that. So, hey, other people that have done that. A thumbs up. Good idea. Figuring things out live on stream. Like a month and a half to two months behind every other person that has thought about playing Spelunky. Oh, that, that felt really good though. I'm gonna take a second here. Just had a couple of messages I need to respond to real quick. I cannot believe what has occurred what's what's really the sad part is um i'm not going to be able to almost certainly not going to be able to use the onk to its like truest potential uh just because i only know one way uh to utilize the item and i'm not thinking that I'm going to survive to that point. But if nothing else, it will at least give me a little extra longevity, you know? Okay, so we fucked this up really bad. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, he... I forgot how bad he nuked this place. Well, there goes our last rope, so hope we don't need it. And here's where we need to survive. We're probably going to... Really, dude? We're probably going to gamble a little bit. I really don't want that. 
Okay, I gotta make sure not to kill myself with the die, because I've kind of done that before, embarrassingly enough. We're gonna kill hired help, though, because they are built to die, apparently. Well, okay. I mean, I'll take money, man. Hired help. <laughs> Please. Hired help. <laughs> sure. Hired corpse. It's fine. We're just... We're basically making neutral returns here. Like, we've lost a bit, but we did get a... <laughs> that's, that's a rough one. Welcome to why I don't play Warhammer. Oh... All right, now we're getting diminishing returns for sure. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I need it. I need it. You can't taunt me with that. I require it. Okay. If you're fine just continuing to pay me money, I will do it until you can give me that jetpack. Okay, don't highway rob me now. You're highway robbing me now! This is why gambling is bad and you don't do it, kids. Okay. Our good luck charm is apparently smacking it against hired help's body. Dude, we might actually just have to leave because we don't have enough time. Are you fucking with me? Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck. We're, we're so dead. Arr, wasted onk, wasted onk, wasted onk, wasted onk, wasted onk, wasted onk, and those guys are gonna be aggro to us now, and we're only going to have a half a minute to get the fuck out of here. Uh, oh man, I jumped down because I didn't think I was gonna be able to get the. God damn it, dude! What the fuck is with this level in clams? Okay, uh. Thanks, I hate it. We shouldn't be alive for so many reasons. And we did waste the Ankh, which is incredibly dumb. But, I'm not gonna take fault for that, despite the fact that it was my fault. Uh, because that man... That, that was the, that was the man of dice gods just being like, nah dude. Oh man, did you just open that for me? That's sick. How nice of you. Of course. Of course I get poisoned. Of course I get poisoned. And... Ugh, Jesus Christ. Alright, just give me the... Just give me the fucking cat and get me the fuck out of here. The door is right there. I just... I need out. Okay. Sure. It's overpriced. But you know what? We'll take it, because at this point, we really have nothing going for us. This life is not our own. We are on borrowed time. And it's time that's literally borrowed from the souls of, like, eight shopkeeper men. <laughs> sure. Took damage, but it evened out. Sort of. Ooh, baby. Thanks, I hate it. Oh, there's a jetpack right there. You motherfuckers, I don't have the money! I should have waited! You screwed me! By giving me a cape. Infuriating. Whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, okay. I didn't intend for this to be how we did this, but this is how we're doing this now, I guess. Oh, hi! That almost was very bad. Thank you for missing. Okay, where is the door? There is the door. Cool. Get, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate this place. Ah! I didn't see the ball! I was too focused on the men! I died on 6-1. That's not... That's not ideal. That wasn't how that was supposed to go. But you know what? We... <laughs> We, we definitely, we, we figured out an Olmec strat, which is just bait aliens. And it might take us an extra, like, seven minutes to do it. But it's, it's definitely the plan from now on. It's definitely what we're going to be doing at this point in our history. I still feel like it's better to go from the beginning of the game, then try to get to Olmec and do shit, because you do start out a little bit more stacked as long as things go kind of okay for you. Oh, shopkeeper man, I just... I just, like, you... You've done this to yourself, my guy. Get out of here! Th see, this is going to be what kills us, though, is we are now going to have this, uh, but angry shopkeepers. And so this will probably get us killed. This will almost certainly be what kills us, rather than the actual threats of which we are going to be fighting. It is almost certainly going to be this. That is an unfortunate position for that cat. But we are not going to be the patient sort today. We are going to be the hurried sort. Hold! I didn't see him, and then he came out of nowhere, and he hurled me around like a goddamn ragdoll. Why do I keep dropping the shotgun? Oh, went right in the lava, huh? Well, that was a good old waste. Dude, hired help with a gun is the scariest thing in my life. And I used to play Siege with hired help. Absolutely terrifying. Okay. We actually just don't even need money at this point. Okay, cool. Uh. Okay. So we technically have a little bit more of HP insurance now. That is a box, I see. Please don't, like, screw me on this again. <laughs> Not screwed. <laughs> the iframes. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. When hired help came through with the shotgun, I thought that the other guy followed me in with the shotgun. I, I thought the other guy came in and had a shotgun, and I was, like, fucking terrified. Okay. I'm just gonna hope that he's dead. I should have gone to get the cat, but I didn't because I'm afraid. I'm a big coward. 
Alright, Olmec, we're doing this today. You have been my crucible for the last couple of days while I've been working. Let's show these skills that we've adapted, huh? You and I, I and you, the dance we do. Let's see if we can replicate alien strats from last time. So if we can replicate alien strats without having to do the stupid bomb dodging shit, I will be the happiest young boyo who is actually an adult man. Okay. See, when he does that and it crushes the extra brick to the side, that's what shows me that his, his hitbox is fucked. Like, why did he crush the extra brick to the side, but not on the opposite uh, end as well, and not the one next to it, rather above it? Like, that seems just a little bit both. But it's probably one of those things where they're like, not game-breaking, we'll either fix or ignore, because in QA, a lot of the times, if you have, like, a, a bug that's just very minute and doesn't really affect anybody except in, like, the most specific of instances, it's not really going to get attended to. We could also just make a cheat hole. We do have 28 bombs, so we might not even have to replicate alien strats. We could just go. 99 life-saving bugs for Olmec. I mean, it's more like that would be like a life-ending one. <laughs> Number one, his hitbox. But for real, though, like, in a lot of games, whenever there's like a, a hitbox bug, it can really just be like a, you know, lifesaver. On, on the opposite end of that, Dark Souls' uh, hitbox is so fucking weird and good in some ways and terrible in others that uh, if you hello? try and shoot... Hello. If you try and shoot narrow, it can go through people's legs in Dark Souls, so that's pretty cool. What have you decided to play today? I've been playing Splunky fighting Olmec. Alright. I'm currently riding a dog with a jetpack and a shotgun, but I only have two HP, so I'm probably gonna lose. Not like the game, but like to Olmec. I will definitely lose the game. I don't expect myself to have a win in Splunky for like another year and a half. Okay, Olmec, you're getting real close to just smashing right on through, so if you wouldn't mind to just smash right on through, that would be just great. A+. Plus. I know that you can't do it. I have to do it for you, but that's not the point. We just have to be very patient and fight Olmec on his terms is, in fact, a giant severed golden head, so at the end of the day, really, he makes the rules, right? Okay, Olmec, activate, and you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna wait underneath Olmec right now, and when he goes off in one direction, we're gonna bip him. Wow, those bombs really just went the distance, huh? Uh, we're gonna put a... Oh, why did- why did I lose the dog? Why did the dog decide to come off my body? I didn't tell him to do that. I'm sorry, what? Okay, cool. And so we did alien strats last time. But, we do have 24 bombs right now, so I think we're just going to do this on our own. Ever since my subscription to you, I've like tripled the Noid Coins. I think subscribers get more, but I really don't pay attention to Noid Coins, I'm gonna be honest. It was just like a Twitch thing that they were like, Hey, name your shit currency! And I'm like, alright. Something that gives me like 450 points. I, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> Just to make sure he has a nice big 
hole to fall down. Oh, oh that shotgun! I almost died by falling too far! Hmm. View streak that's actually ironic. Huh. Alright, well, now we just can't die in the Olmec hole, because the last time we went into the Olmec hole, um, with one HP, a spider touched us. And life was sad. Dude, trust me, one HP Olmec hole scares the shit out of me. What? 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 Are you going to bit me on the head again? Get the life mm -hmm. juice? Listen, I want to get it, but I'm trying to be patient and make sure there's no bats in here. I am don't- I am so tired. <laughs> I mean... You have to work. Only five more days to go. Yeah, but then you have, like, a really long amount of time off. Yeah, but that's not until December. But thankfully, it's around Christmas! Okay. So, so far, we're... We're two Ol Olmec kills today. Which is good. Uh... There's a couple of places we could go. You now have a 7.334% chance of winning. I guarantee you it's actually a 0% chance. We're going to go to Temple just because we haven't done Temple on stream before. Which will kill me right away. Don't get me wrong. Like, I will die, like, in three seconds when I go to fight Anubis. That was a soft-looking kitty. Uh, never mind. I'm actually gonna fucking kill Anubis, God of the Dead. So... I'm sorry! Witches! Uh, I killed Anubis, God of the Dead, and then a witch shot me in the head. With an auto-tracking gun? That they summoned out of the- what was that? Having- <laughs> Haven't ever seen that before. <laughs> oh, fuck off. This witch can get fucked. So right. cold in my apartment. What the fuck? Shouldn't even be that hard. It's like really hard to get there. First of all, you need to go to jungle for part of the key. Yeah, don't you need like the hedge yet or something like that? I'm gonna be real. I just kind of wish that I could kill that person. Oh. No! Yes! Okay. We're gonna take a look here at some of the bestiary stuff, because I need to know. Sorceress, an expert magic user who wields the power of creation. Cool, I hate you. Uh, cat mummy. Mummified felines are filled with terrible curses. Fantastic. Legendary jackal-headed god is tasked with guarding the temple's most hallowed treasures. He's fucking dead. All it took was a shotgun. I mean, I guess that's kind of the logic of, uh... The mummy movies, right? Like, yeah, just fucking shoot them. I mean, like, it took more than that, of course, but... I... <laughs> oh, I don't like this. See you, dude. Grab his weapon, it's OP. I don't trust myself with the Anubis weapon, because it can kill you, right? Or did they change that from Spelunky 1? Uh... Yeah, like, I knew that was going to move.
Nop can't kill you? Well, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> you offered. It's more like I cursed. I love the idea of a person with the power of creation dying to a gun. Because it's just like, clearly the power of creation... Uh, is not able to create your own life. I mean, they created the gun, though. No, I... I shot them. <laughs> You're out tired, go to bed. No, I am cursed, I just, unfortunately. I, I have commissions to do, and I don't want to do one, but I have to. I do There's permanently one. have one HP now. I do know that. This whole week's just- this whole week is gonna be awful. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. Whoa. Hero two. Is that in your head again? Yeah. I died because I didn't get out of there in time? That's fine. It's, it's, I'm, I'm it's, fine with getting to 4-3 on Temple. It's been in my head all day. I'm fine with that. That was that was a new place that we got to. It jumps between uh, that and uh, nobody gonna break my style. Nobody gonna slow me down. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know why I've had like the killer instinct theme stuck in my head, or like not the killer instinct theme itself, but like one of them. I don't know what that is. To be honest. Fighting game. Oh. There's uh, a bunch of songs in it that are just basically Shira. Like from during the uh, the arena time frame. Dude, I fucking hate Jiangxi. Get out of here. Man, that's gonna be the thing that like... Speaking about like OC stuff, that's gonna be the thing Shira hates uh, when going to Bookshore. What? Being like... Oh yeah, there's gonna be like cool new weird monsters, and then one of them is just like zombies, but they hop at you ominously, and she's like, "What? What?" <laughs> she's just gonna think they're cute. It's just like, why are they hopping? <laughs> she's gonna be like, "This is good content." Because <laughs> like Jiangxi are just the strangest of of mythological creatures to me. She would like take out her phone and record it and send it back to oh. Case. Be like, look at these little fuckers. Okay, okay, I wanted to turn that into food, but like, that's fine. We'll ride it instead. I had a lady, I got written up today. Oh, really? Yeah, well, quote unquote. This lady, a Karen. Like up for assessment sort of thing? Uh, 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 well, listen. So uh, this Karen walks in, right? And... I feel bad because I have a Karen that actually works. Like a real Karen. It, it, but like her name is Karen, but she's not a Karen, if yeah, that makes sense. A, a real Karen. Yeah. This was Seth. Uh, and uh, so, you know, I, I don't like calling this lady that, but that's what she is. So she comes in with her fucking husband. And I don't know what the Karen equivalent of a dude is, but that's what he was. So they walk in. And they're just these posh white people that think they're they fucking have the world should be licking their shoes. And I get them their bill, and their bill's like four grand, right? I'm like, here's your bill. I'm like, how would you like to pay? And he's like, I want to look it over first. I'm like, no problem. It's a lot of money. Go ahead and look it over. And he's like, why is there uh why is this here? I'm like, oh, um, I actually don't know why that's there. I don't know what that is. If you have questions, I'll grab your advisor. Like, the mechanic that worked on your vehicle. And, uh, he's just like, well, shouldn't you know? And I'm like, I just take the money. It's like, I I handle a desk. What are you talking about? Like, and I was like, I, I'm like, the only thing I could tell you is if you got your oil changed, that's about the only thing I understand how to read on there. I'm like, he's like, oh, so you can't read. I'm like, I can read, oh, but I won't be able to- I had a guy like this last night. I'm like, I won't be able to tell you what it means. 
And so I got his advisor, and his advisor comes over, and the guy's like, why is there- And he makes- In New York, at this shop, if you dispose of your tires after getting your tires changed, we charge you $5. Yeah, which makes sense. Absolutely. He's like, why is there this $5 charge here? And he's like, oh, well, you're- You know, it's the- It's to dispose of the tires. And the guy's just like, well, I'm taking them with me. And he's like, oh, we can take that off, no problem. He's like, shouldn't you have asked me before you wrote the bill? And the mechanic was like, sorry, won't happen again. And, he's, and the guy was, and the wife pipes up. She's like, they're five for five. They've never gotten the bill right whenever they come out. Bah. And this is when I get written up. <laughs> Without thinking, it, just, it was just a shit day. I've been yelled at all day. Okay. I just... <laughs> I had one person say that my dress would be flattering if I was skinny. Um, it was just bad. Um, so, uh, uh, oh, I had someone say that I was a cultural appropriating black people because I wear wigs. That's um, not how that works. Exactly. Um, anyway, so I look this lady in the eye and I just go, if we've messed up your bill that much, why do you still come here? And I stopped, and I'm like, "Fuck!" And then the mechanic starts laughing. No, like, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't write you up for that. That's very, very good. So he starts just losing it, and he's just like, "I'm gonna go fix his bell." Runs away, and so the Karen's like, "What did you just say to me?" And I'm like, "I don't remember, ma'am." She's like, "Are you stupid?" And I'm like, it was "Yes, ma'am." It was the spur of the moment. And I just went, "Yes, ma'am, I am." And she's like, I think you said if the bill keeps getting, if we, if you guys keep messing up the bill, why do I still come here? And I'm like, that might that have been well what I said. Been what I'd said. I was like, that could have been what I said, ma'am. I don't remember. Do not recall. And I just keep telling her I don't remember. And she's like, I want to speak to your manager. And I'm like, okay. And so the, my manager is the Wiccan lady, right? Yeah. And she's been in the corner listening to this the whole time. So she walks over and the lady no! is just like, the lady's like, I watched to touch him, gonna... but I died like an idiot. That was gonna She's be like, a good run. Are you gonna allow your employee to talk to me that way? And she was like, Well, what do you want me to do? She's like, I want you. To... She deserves some sort of punishment. She deserves to be written up. For what? And so she, my supervisor, takes a sticky note and just writes bad customer service with a frowny face. That's pretty good. And she just looked at the lady and she was like, I wrote her up. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> like, the lady just freaks out. She asks for the owner's phone number. We oh, give her the fuck. owner's phone number, but uh, the owner has what you call a burner phone, where yeah. it's like, give this number to people who want to call. I'm never going to answer the phone. Yeah, it's a valid number, but they don't answer it. Yeah. And so we give her that, and she's just like, you're going to lose your job. Mar, 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 mar. Oh, they always think that. So, like, sh they pay the bill, right? And we take, like, like my supervisor takes an extra $10 oh! off just to shut them the fuck up. And I'm like, is $20... Like, I feel like, like, in retrospect, like, if your bill's $80 and they take $20 off, that's a good chunk of money saved, right? If your bill is $4,000 and we take $20 off, does that really, like... I, I understand the principle of it, of, like, yeah, ask me before you do anything, because I remember, like, the first time that I went in and got my computer done, they, like, charged me a bunch, and I was like, what's that for? And they are like, oh, we dusted the inside of your computer or anything. I'm like, I appreciate that, but ask me. Like... It's... Yeah, but you don't make a scene about it. No, you I just, just go, I just hey. Went, hey, just ask me about that next time. And then this time, it was like two years later, and they didn't do it because, like, I bust them too. Yeah, it's like, hey, like, if you go, hey, like, I appreciate the, like, I get it. Like, and sometimes our computer systems just, like, automatically come up with stuff. And if we don't catch it, then. Yeah, just it auto tags poopsie. things. And so it was, um, and I, like, after that, I'm like, am I actually going to get run up for that? And she just kind of shrugged. And she's just like, I'm not going to tell anybody, but if management hears, like, if HR hears about it, you might get spoken to. And she's like, but I've told people to shut up before, and I'm still here. I I don't see it being a genuinely large issue. Like, maybe, again, maybe you get spoken to, and that's about it. I just, people just upset me. 
And then, like, the lady I who said that- I cannot believe I fucking died like that. Oh my god. Ali, 